second gear, shift lock, swerve. Oh, that was <laughs> This guy likes it. Haha. <laughs> A few moments later. What's going on everyone? I'm going to give you guys a little review of my 2015 WR450F. I actually bought this bike brand new in like 2016 as a leftover. And this thing has over 17,000 miles on it. Right now we're at 17,300. And honestly, it's probably been one of the, the most reliable bikes I've ever owned. To me, it's really impressive that this bike has 17,000 miles on it. It hasn't even had a valve adjustment yet. I would highly recommend a WR to anyone that wants to buy one. They're a little cheaper than the KTMs. And the only thing you have to do, honestly, because like I said, I've had this bike forever and I haven't even had to do a valve adjustment or a top end. The only thing you gotta do is routine oil changes, like air filter, chain, sprockets, tires, just like the easy shit, you know? You don't gotta deal with any headaches and stuff, but um, wicked reliable bike. Um, I mean, you can get one of these for between four and 6,000 bucks and considering how reliable of a bike it is and stuff, I mean, I would highly recommend it. I mean, but um, honestly, supermotos are such good fun. I mean, like they're like the ultimate hooligan bike. a blast they handle so good and stuff and I mean they can like morph you into a pretty good rider because you really got to use all the power I mean they're a great bike to learn wheelies on especially if you're a beginner because they're not like crazy fast they can kill you and there's a lot of room for error so what do I mean by that is you can drop the shit out of this, you can crash the shit out of this, and it really doesn't matter. Like, the worst thing that really is gonna happen most of the time is you're gonna bend a set of bars and scratch your plastics. I mean, there's really not much that can break. It's honestly been a solid bike. 